Today's Little's Got Your Day. So it doesn't matter what we're making here. Today is Little's Got Your Day. Well, well, nothing. Nothing but love for Little. It's amazing how a dog could just take your heart, right? I don't know what it is. And I don't care. All I know is we got Little a year ago today. Anyway, today we're going to do some sheet pan vegetables. Super easy, super good, and super healthy. Um, I make this all the time. Again, it's one of those things I like to have fresh vegetables cooked in my refrigerator all the time because that's basically my go-to for a lunch or a late night snack. When you, you right away you want to go to the chips. I have nothing against chips. Love chips. I would rather eat the chips. But then I eat the vegetables and I say to myself, why do I want to eat the chips? Because the vegetables taste better than the chips. You have to get in that frame of mind because truly they do. Especially this little this little something I'm making for you now because um, I'm using red onion, red onion, red onion. I'm using red onion, which gives us a little bit of a kick and some honey and some balsamic vinegar. So um, basically it's one sheet in the oven. Put your oven right now before you start on 425. And if you have a convection roast setting, put it on there. If you don't, bake is fine. So bake 425, preheat your oven before you start. This way when you're ready, the oven is as it should be. Um, all you need is about a pound of Brussels sprouts, which I have cut and cleaned already, rather than saving you the boredom of watching me do it. And then I have butternut squash, which I absolutely love. Now, I also took the butternut squash, and if you look, they're cut into like little chip sizes. About an inch, inch by an inch square, half an inch thick, I'm going to say. And the reason I have them cut this side is because I want them to bake the same speed as the Brussels sprouts. This again is about another pound of uh, Brussels sprouts and a pound of butternut squash. So you're talking two pounds total. Then I get a nice size red onion. Now, often, very often, I use a yellow onion. So if you don't have red onion, use a yellow onion. It's fine. It's just, I kind of like the red onion. It gives it a little bit of a different twist, a little bit of a different flavor. So I go with the red. Um, then we're going to get balsamic vinegar, a nice grate olive oil, Salt, pepper, and a little honey. Now, I'm going to put these in the bag because ultimately I'm going to put everything in this bag and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for a couple of hours. Then I'm just going to get my red onion. I'm just going to slice it nice. Not cubes, but nice, nice slices like that because you want the bigger chunks because they're tasty. All right? So you just get your red onion, you slice it like that now this is what i had left over from the other day let's see if i have enough let's see if it's going to make me happy or if i have to cut some more it's not going to make me happy so i'm just gonna take a little more i use red onion a lot i love red onion it's got such a nice flavor it's got a pretty color And as you can see, it's just big, nice slices, throwing it in there. You don't have to use a bag, obviously. You can use any kind of bowl. It doesn't matter. This bowl, a little history on this bowl. I've had this bowl, I can't even tell you how many years. Maybe 30, maybe 40, I don't know. I make my meatballs in this every Sunday. My daughter Lauren and my niece Candace are fighting over this bowl for when I die because each of them want it and I had to give Candace my niece the bad news to say oh, obviously my daughter's gonna get it but isn't it funny how certain things bring so many memories and this bowl is one of those things didn't even know it all right so we've got a pound of each Brussels sprouts butternut squash and a nice size a medium sized red onion again you don't like red onion use yellow no big deal all right now I'm gonna sprinkle again just to what you want a little pepper in there little kosher salt okay I'm not gonna measure but for argument's sake you just wanna you wanna coat the vegetables alright I'm gonna say for this we're probably gonna put about uh, seven tablespoons of um, the oil but you could just you're gonna know if you need more or not when we squish this in a minute this is Three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Try to use a nice grate because 
I feel like it matters. And we're gonna pop in, lastly, a tablespoon of honey. Because the honey is gonna balance out the vinegar. Now I'm gonna take my bag, get the air out. I'm gonna seal it tightly, although this won't seal. Why won't you seal? And then I'm gonna mush it all up. Mush it all up, mush it all up. My bag won't seal. Just mush it all up. This will marinate now for about three hours in the refrigerator. You could even do it overnight. I just like it to marinate because I want the balsamic to get it in between the little layers of the Brussels sprouts. That's my crazy. Because I like it when it's all caramelized and you'll see it's gonna be all caramelized at the end. And you just gonna pop this in the refrigerator for about three hours. And when this is done, we're gonna put it in a tray and I'm gonna show you how how to cook these little buggers. Just pop them there. Get a sheet pan ready. Back. It's been about three hours. This has been marinating. You're gonna get a sheet pan. You don't really have to treat the sheet pan with anything because you've got the oil obviously on, on the vegetables themselves. If you want to line the sheet pan with like a heavy foil, go ahead, but it's just so easy to clean and everything. I don't bother. Again, your, your oven is on 425. These have been marinating. So pretty. All right, we're back. It's been about 25 minutes. The color is good. What you want to do, you see how easily I pierce the squash? It's done. Now the Brussels sprouts are not only crispy, so they're dark, but they are all so coated in the balsamic, which gives them this color. All right, now we're just gonna take this, and try and make it pretty, although you know my food is never pretty. All right? I don't know, I love this dish. You could do it with so many different things. You could even, after a couple of days, if you could throw this into pasta. You could get a little chicken broth and make a nice little pasta out of it. But it's great with anything. It's great with burgers. It's great with any kind of protein you could think of. Or all by itself. It's yummy and delicious. Let me taste it. Don't burn my face off. So good. So good. I love you. I love little more. Again, love to little. It's her gotcha day. But this, guys, is delicious. And it's good for you. And it can't get any easier to make. We're done. Look at us. We did it again. Guys, go give little some love now. It's her gotcha day.